Hey, I'm John Haber. Here's my gear story. Well, what do we have here? This Stratocaster. This was bought by my parents for me in 1978 from the original Alto in Muncie, New York. It was $385 plus tax. That's like $1,600 in today's money. It's pretty amazing. That was like a big deal to get this. As you can see, not only did I have a beautiful guitar when I was 12 years old, but I also had a fantastic suit. Anyway, this guitar, um, my, I got my parents to get this for me, it was unbelievable. But even more amazing was the fact that two years later, when a space alien named Eddie Van Halen entered our orbit, and I heard that, then I convinced my mother to allow me to bring this to Alto. It's uh, a guy named Scott Worden, who I'm still friends with today, routed a big hole in it to put, when I'm, and I'm sticking with the story, the first Kaler tremolo system in Rockland County. Uh, this is the first one he did, certainly. And so I was able to do all that crazy whammy stuff. You know, that was kind of a cool thing to have. Actually, now I wish I had the guitar the way it was originally, but you know, can't go back and fix that. This is the guitar I used in my band Looker. I had the guitar, this ding right here. I had this guitar like five days. And I remember I had the case on my bed and I put the guitar back in the case, but I didn't put it in all the way. And I went in the latch on this side of the case. That's where it hit. The guitar was sticking out there. So I figured, all right, I got this. So that was the worst one. But the ones that followed, I remember leaving this parked in a car overnight after a gig. I probably didn't get till like four in the morning is when I parked my car. And I was too lazy to bring everything in. That's why all these cracks, it was like freezing that night. So that's where all these cracks came from. These dings up here, these were poked through the ceiling at Cheers in Nyack, New York, a couple times. But anyway, this says a lot of Battle scars on it, but the guitar still plays great. These are the original frets. When I had the Kaler uh, installed, I routed this for a humbucking pickup. This right now, I believe, is a Seymour Duncan Pearly Gates. And then this is a DiMarzio that I ended up putting in. And honestly, that thing never sounded good. I never used that pickup for some reason. I think it's wired bad, because my boss at the time, I was really annoying him to put that pickup in. And I, I was like relentless and I wouldn't shut up. And he probably, he did put it in for me that day, but he probably wired it all screwed up just to, because payback's a bitch. That's what I think that, so I never use that pickup. But when I put it in combination with the neck pickup, it sounds pretty cool. I've had the guitar 44 years, it's kind of amazing. I'm glad I still have it. I'm actually reworking some old tracks of master reel-to-reels that I have in my band from the 1980s. And this is the guitar that was used on that record. I still have some of the electronics that we used. So I'm able now to actually go back and touch up a few things with the exact same instruments that were used 35 years ago. Can't tell the difference, because I still have the same guitar with the same pickups and the same Rockman, Tom Schultz Rockman that I can uh, use as well. So that's my gear story and I'm sticking to it.